Me in Hong Kong has some unfinished business. Let me explain. In the beginning of 2020, I traveled to Hong Kong for my first time ever. At the time, I was solo traveling Asia and Hong Kong was a part of the route. I always liked the idea of Hong Kong, a high-rise city with a culture where East meets West. And as a person who's a big fan of skyscrapers and very much enjoys the bustling city life, perhaps it wasn't that surprising that I immediately fell in love with the city. I only spent a week in Hong Kong, but I was oozing with joy from all the things I got to experience and I knew instantly as I left that I had to come back one day to experience the rest of what the city had to offer. A few months later, the world shut its borders and it was looking dark, but Hong Kong never really left my mind. And now, as you're watching this more than four years later, I'm happy to bring you guys with me on my first few days back in the city. Good morning from Hong Kong. Man, feels good to be back. So, I arrived here yesterday from Seoul, so today, will be my first full day back in the city. There's so much for me to see and do here. So in a moment, we'll head out in the streets to explore. But first, gotta take a moment to appreciate this great weather, man. So what better way to do so than here at the hotel pool. Excuse me? Yes, We're trying to get a taxi to uh, the top of uh, the peak. Yeah, thanks. Right guys, so we're kind of off to a late start here because we really slept in this morning, had a calm start to this trip, but we're starting it off in the best way possible because right now, as you can tell, we're in a taxi on the way to the peak. All right guys, we made it to the top. So I am super excited to be here. This is hands down the best view you can have here in Hong Kong, right? The reason why we didn't take like the peak tram is because it's very crowded and uh, figured we'll spare some time to take a taxi and cost around the same price. So definitely was worth it. So let's go ahead and check out the view. We're here at the Lions Pavilion and here we have the view. I mean, wow. It feels so good to finally re-experience this again after so many years. <sighs> Amazing. I'm so happy that we have a clear sky today, but it's pretty tough to take some good pictures today because, I mean, we're not alone, all right? So what we're gonna do is just roam around here to see if we can find some other angle to take pictures from. I've never seen this place like this before. I mean, we've been roaming around here and 30 minutes ago, this place was packed. But as you can tell now, I'm the only one here. Pretty much. <laughs> we must have been here for, I don't know, three hours, give or take. Just enjoying the sheer beauty of this place. And I mean, this weather, once again, it's a perfect day. What else can I say? I think it's time for lunch. I'm feeling hungry, so let's see what food spots we can find. Hi, we're going Hi. to uh, Team Ho One, Team Ho One restaurant. We made our way over to the Hong Kong station, and why are we at the Hong Kong station? Well, we're gonna eat at Tim Ho Wan, which is a very, very affordable Michelin star restaurant here. I've actually been here before, but completely forgot like what floor it is on. So just gonna navigate our way through here and see if we uh, can find it. Tim Ho Wan, guys. And it's pretty crowded for being uh, like 5 p.m. All right, guys, so here we have some rice noodle rolls with minced beef, as well as some steamed shrimp dumplings. So let's give it a go, all right? Starting off with this shrimp dumpling here. Mm. That was really good. Trying the other one here. I think I made the right choice. That was delicious. Look at me, all dressed up and sh So, I'm going out with a local friend. Let's just put it like that. And we're going to a rooftop bar, I think. We'll see if I'll be able to vlog this. I'm kind of in a rush right now. So, Let's do this. Right, so I'm kind of vlogging on the go right now, and man, I can't help myself but to stop for all of these skyscrapers, man. It's just something about it to be surrounded by them at all times, and I mean, if you would tell me I would have to leave Sweden and live abroad for 
I don't know, the next year or so, I would probably move to Hong Kong, honestly. <laughs> Assuming I would have the money for it. The fastest way to the rooftop bar was actually through Lang Kwai Fong, which is their nightlife area, right? And man, this place is packed. I eventually ended up at this place called Puchico at Spiga, which is an outdoor terrace located in the heart of Central on the third floor of the LHT Tower podium. Although it was not technically a rooftop bar, I still kind of enjoy the ambience here. There's a great selection of drinks, you're surrounded by tall buildings, and you have an overall relaxed atmosphere to work with, so I can't complain. Later, we went to another bar in the area called Dragonfly, which was located in Taekwon, the former Central Police Station compound. This one was quite hidden, and I would have never stumbled upon it myself, so it was quite the experience. The place was pretty small, but I really enjoyed the interior and atmosphere here. Truly something unique. We stayed for some drinks before calling it a night, and before we move on, I would just so kindly ask you to like the video or perhaps comment something. I would highly appreciate it. It really helps me to reach more new people. Good morning. It is day two, and we're standing here in the middle of Elements here in Kowloon. So this is hands down one of my favorite places here in in Hong Kong just because this area in itself is so unique you know we have the ICC tower the tallest building here in Hong Kong surrounded by like all these massive skyscrapers right so if you didn't know Hong Kong is actually the city with the most skyscrapers in the world which is why I can't keep my mouth shut about it right so today's plan is actually to explore the Kowloon side of Hong Kong so this area right here well we have a metro station so what we're gonna do is take the metro up north and start the adventure there like most places in Asia I gotta get a metro card here in Hong Kong they have something called the octopus card so simply tap that you're good to go First stop, and we're here at the 6 Sik Yuan Won Tai Sin Temple. As far as I know, this is a Taoist temple. And even though I'm not super knowledgeable about it, I always like to experience the cultural sides of the places I visit when I travel. We decided to stop for some lunch in the area at this place called Maxim's. I have a bowl of rice, a crispy pork belly and roasted duck, so let's give it a go. Well needed right now. Mm. Stop number two on our Kowloon adventure and we're here at the Nan Lian Garden. I mean, just look at this, like straight up beautiful. I'm surprised I didn't visit this place during my first visit here in Hong Kong. I love the fact that you're surrounded by all of these like high rise buildings, makes this garden truly unique. So we're gonna roam around here and just enjoy the scenery. We made it to the infamous basketball court here at the Shoi Hong Estate and man, it feels good to be here to see this place in real life. You know, it's quite interesting to see like a residential area become this popular amongst travelers, but I can definitely see the hype. I mean, it's a beautiful place and I learned that Shoi Hong actually means rainbow in Cantonese which kind of explains a few things. It was quite tricky to get here. We had a local friend that showed us the way, but essentially if you plan on visiting, it's on top of a car park. And I feel like this area as a whole is definitely worth visiting because you get a good glimpse of the local life here in Hong Kong. That was quite the workout. Let's just put it like that. We're all done here for today, and now it's time to make our way over to the TSD for the Symphony of Lights. We made it right in time for the Symphony of Lights. We're standing here dead center of the Avenue of Stars, and the light show is about to start in any minute now. Good afternoon. It is the next day and I actually took the morning off from vlogging because I was just so tired from yesterday. Still very happy that I got to see the north side of Kowloon so it feels great to check off all of those things that I always wanted to do. Anyways, to kind of recap this morning, we went to Wan Chai and we went there for a workout. So I used to stay in Causeway Bay. So we went to the same gym that I used to go to back when I was here for my first time, right? So it was kind of nostalgic 
to me, not gonna lie. As far as I know, it's one of the more affordable gyms in Hong Kong for day passes. So if you like working out, might be worth checking out. I really enjoy it. After that, we went for some lunch in the area and I had some eel with rice. It was great. Also had some sushi on the side. Very enjoyable. And after that, we did something that I always wanted to do here in Hong Kong, which is riding the ding ding trams, all right? So yeah, I don't know why I haven't gotten around to ride those yet until today, but it was a great experience and I mean, perfect way to see the city. Anyways, brings us here, you know, to this current moment and I'm sitting here in the hotel room, which I haven't even showed you guys, right? So this is the Bishop Lei International House and this is what 800 Hong Kong dollars gets you a night. It's not the biggest place ever, it's 12 square meters, but I mean, it's good enough for me and my friend to get by. And right now I'm sitting here backing up some files actually, because I have to do that every now and then. So plan is, well, I'm gonna do that for, I don't know, a couple of hours now and then tonight we'll ride the star ferry for our first time ever which i'm super excited about so i'll see you guys then We made it right in time for the Symphony of Lights, 8 o'clock, right on the dot, and honestly I prefer this spot over the Avenue of Stars because it was much less crowded, so you just go through this small ride and it was like a 5 minute walk to get here, and I got a really good spot, so I'm satisfied, so I can highly recommend checking it out. Anyways, right now it's time to head over to the Temple Street Night Market. For my first time ever, I've never been there and I've heard it's quite popular, so let's go ahead and check it out. I'm not really in the market for a t-shirt, but these ones are seriously 20 Hong Kong dollars each. I don't know where you can find anything cheaper than that for a t-shirt. If you've seen any of my previous vlogs, you know that I like to buy a magnet in every place I travel to, and I've been eyeing this one because this one is kind of multi-purpose, right? I mean, I think it's beautiful, so yeah, let's go with this one. And how much was the cat again? This one, how much? 75. 75 for this one, and the smaller ones? 45. 45. I've been standing here for like five minutes picking one, but I like the white one. It's classic, you know, for it either a gold, gold or white. The white wine wins. Let's go with this one. 70. 70? Yeah. All right, 70. Here you go. Thank you. I also got these keychains. The lady in the stall really didn't want to be on camera all right, but she wanted 200 and I'm bargaining it down to 50, which is a great price, honestly. I mean, these are beautiful keychains. So I think I'm all done here with the shopping. What better way to wrap up the night than with some roasted goose and rice. Let's dive in. Mm. That was so good. I was so hungry. Mm. Wow. That was one delicious meal, so let's end this vlog on a high note. Had a great time here in Hong Kong, super thankful to be back. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the content, of course, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.